subscribe to Nika TV and press the bell icon to make sure you never miss an update from us. So my journey in beauty started actually at a very young age. I kind of became obsessed with beauty um, because I was so hairy. <laughs> I had very thick brows. I needed to figure out what to do with them. I had a mustache. <laughs> um, so I started very, very young. I was about nine years old. Um, I, the first thing I ever bought was tweezers, <laughs> naturally. And then I got into DIY, I got into natural beauty tips. Um, those really were something I was really obsessed with at a very young age. And I think just it kind of evolved naturally from that. I think it's really challenging when you're trying to be a blogger, a beauty guru, um, a makeup artist, um, really juggling all those things and actually having your own brand can be really challenging and it's not something that's been easy. Um, and I think ultimately what we've always tried to do at Huda Beauty is just do what feels right. Um, we don't ever want to do anything that doesn't feel like it's not like true to who we are. Um, I never want to be like forced to, to do anything I don't want to do. So I think it's really important just to make sure that you are always, you know, talking about things you want to talk about, making the products you want to make, you know, blog the style you like to blog. Um, and I think that's really ultimately what kind of, you know, helps you evolve uh, naturally. I think when it comes to our brand and who we are, I really just think of it in very simple terms. What is our mission? Our mission is to give people the most amazing beauty products that are going to change their lives, going to make beauty easier for them. And so I think because of that, the way we think, it always feels like we're just having fun. <laughs> it always feels like we're just making products for our best friends, ourselves, um, you know, our sisters, our moms, um, whoever it is. And I think that's really what keeps Huda Beauty the way it is. I think it's very important. I definitely feel like my definition of beauty has changed throughout the years. I feel when I first started, you know, some parts are probably the same. I've always felt like a smile and your personality really make you attractive. You know, you can wear as much makeup as you want, but you need to be a happy person. People need to feel the beauty from within, and I still feel that way. You really need to be comfortable in your own skin, and I think that's so natural when you're a teenager, when you're in your 20s. It's so hard to feel like, you know, I'm beautiful, I accept myself for who I am, and I still struggle with it now um, in my 30s, but I definitely think that just accepting yourself for who you are is really important, and that's gonna, what's gonna make you stand out in a crowd. I definitely think for us at Huda Beauty, the way that we kind of stay ahead is really just being who we are, you know? So we're, we're never gonna be that brand that, you know, oh my gosh, how much money are we making here, or, what, or how many people viewed this, or how many people did that. It has to be fun, it has to feel right, it just has to feel like you know we're playing and we're having fun and we're having a good time and we're making those products that people want and not because there's a quota or there's a trend or anything like that. We do it because that's what needs to happen. I definitely would love to maybe change the experience for beauty for everyone out there. I really want people to feel that they are part of this journey, whether they know a lot in beauty or whether they're just trying to take their beauty to the next level. Um, you know, or if they're a beauty connoisseur, I want to give them a product in an innovative way. So I definitely feel um, at Huda Beauty we have a big job and that really is to give people one of the most amazing experiences when it comes to beauty.